Hello everyone, welcome! I'm so sorry for the time it took to get set up, but oof, I've not streamed in 15 days and I forgot everything apparently, so hello everyone, welcome! I'm so happy to see everyone again! Hello everyone! Let me just uh, move a little bit like this, there you go. Uh, wow, already, already, already a big time warp. Hello, everyone. As uh, Hayden, you were the first, but I started the software way before starting the stream. So, like, it had a little bit of problem knowing who was the first. I'm so happy to see you all, guys. Hello, Kali, Barrison, Furox, Snowy, Flair, Hayden, third, Leo. We even have Diffus in the chat. What's up, Diffus? How are you doing? Uh, Rento, Kali, Leo. Hello, everyone. Welcome, I'm so happy to see you all here tonight. Uh, we are going to talk about the massive holidays. Uh, it was two weeks. I was not expecting it. I mean, no, no, okay. My last stream was Wednesday two, uh, Wednesday two weeks ago, yeah? But I was not, I did not start, like, my, my holidays only started one week ago. Like, it, it only was one week <laughs> holidays. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. D E. Okay, it is it is good. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Simon! Thank you so much for the reset, Simon. I hope you're doing amazing today. Uh, I'm so happy to see all of you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited tonight. Uh, tonight, uh, that furry name not telling hello, Peppercorn hello. I've literally not followed anything that happened. Uh, I was disconnected. Oh my god, it's such a pleasure sometimes to just be disconnected. And like, we're gonna see in this stream, I'm gonna show you some content that I took. Uh, I'm gonna make a video of, of, of everything that I made uh, during these holidays, but we can talk about it. I have some videos that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, they're already like uh, here. Look at that. I even I even made like a little folder with all the videos. Can you believe it, guys? I'm actually uh, planning stuff. Oh my god, I'm wearing your t-shirt right now, very comfortable. As a matter of fact, in real life right now, I'm wearing my t-shirt too. Like, literally. And if I want to be even more... <laughs> oh my god, Hidden! Thank you for the reset for the th 30 month. Oh my god, that's a lot. 30 month, it's a lot of month. Thank you so much, Hidden. Really appreciate it. Let me just... Uh, sure, there we go. So, like, right now, we are very canon. Like, this is 100% uh, canon. This is how I am in real life right now. Uh, RP. Let's say it like that. Super RP. Super RP stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I have received all the pictures uh, of the people that received uh, the shirt and oh my god, I'm so happy that you guys like it. Um, the, mo the stuff that I heard the most was like, yeah, it's something that you can wear. Um, something that you can wear. You don't really need to uh, uh, worry about like furry, look super furry or stuff like that. Like it's something you can wear casually on the everyday life. Like you know, like uh, I was, I was wearing uh, wearing it uh, in the street like normally, and there, there no one questioned it. So literally, no one questioned it. Uh, Snowflakes, hello, nice to see you, Snowflakes. How are you doing? Hope you're doing amazing today. Um, and yeah, we're gonna start to talk about the holidays. Uh, what happened after uh, the day where I assume so after Wednesday, Wednesday two weeks ago. That's where it starts, and I have a lot of stuff to talk about because oh my god, those those uh, those holidays. Whew. I mean, they were really great holidays. You're going to cry at some point. I, I cried too a lot during those holidays. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're going to... It's going to be cool. We're going to see a lot of cool videos and stuff. Uh, so yeah. I recently, hello. Wearing your own merch based... Well, I get the chance to do that. I, I literally, the, the the main thing when I created the t-shirt was like, it's something that I can wear and I, that I also want to wear. It's not just something that I created like, oh yeah, guys, uh, take some merch. I created something that I wanted to wear too. Like this, there was, it was the first thingy. I really wanted something that I, I also wanted to, um, to wear. But actually, hello, Underworld, not hello. Be. Not Beeb. M Mac Beeb, what is Mac Beeb? Stream section, yeah, they're like so. When there is no Friday Fox show in this world, by default, when you load in, it it loads my stream. So, well, I guess, I guess it's like a big stream set. Like this is literally, I can see twenty streams in this. Like this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> An inside joke? I don't know the joke. But actually, I hope you're doing great. So yeah, um, I had the occasion. So uh, first stuff. Um, I stopped streaming on uh, Wednesday and then on Thursday nothing happened like literally I did nothing I just slept uh, it's super good though to like rest for a bit uh, 
<laughs> I love the Xav shirt, son. SM? What is SM? Um, yeah, in real life also, like, I, w I was kind of, like, uh, uh, blown away by the quality. Like, it's super high quality. It's not It's not a bad quality uh, shirt at all. Uh, and, and that's great because I I'm probably going to use them again, the, the, the company that made the shirt. I'm going to use them again. <laughs> I noticed something. I have to wait 11 months to be gay again. Help. What? No, no, you don't have to. You can be gay every day. Some video of Mamor screaming. No, no, no. Even even more than that. Even better than that. But you're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see. Uh, <laughs> Neiman, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so, yeah, I, the Thursday I did, I did nothing. But on, on the Friday, or I'd rather say... Be gay. Be ungovernable. Yes, on Friday morning, because it was literally Friday, 2 a.m. I had to wait because my friend Styles, you might you might know Styles, uh, he's a really cool guy, uh, YouTuber, content creator, VR chat content creator. Um, he was in the in the nine hour stream when when the stream was giving everyone trauma. You remember when you guys were gifting subs for me to keep streaming and I ended up streaming nine hours? Yeah, this stream here, the trauma stream. He was at the very very end of the trauma stream with his uh, amazing energy. And just after that, he uh, asked me if uh, I wanted to participate in one of his videos. So that's what we did. we recorded in videos a video with a, a slushy uh, style and we had another amazing bean. But I'm sorry, I forgot your name because I'm really bad and so uh, at literally how can you have minus 21 followers and minus 82 subs <laughs> uh, but, but, yeah uh, don't question it don't question it snowflakes but if you want to gift 80, 82 subs to uh, put it back to zero uh, you can you can if, if you want to give gift 22 uh, 82 subs uh, my pleasure I, I I you can do it it's allowed I, I yeah thank you very much <laughs> and the minus 21 followers I guess it's just bots you know and the bots they get they get delayed Deleted by uh, by Twitch, you just lose them. And my software that I made, the, the little thing here, is made by me. And so, well, it doesn't really know what to do when there is negative amount. Like it takes the amount of stuff that happened during the stream, and, and, and when there is negative, then it just shows negative. It should not show anything, but when there is negative, it just shows negative. You know. So I don't know. It is what it is. I look fifty seven or two hundred euros. So eighty seven will be hard. No, is is eighty seven. 57 is 200 euros? I don't even know. Uh, Stalker mod, hello. Well, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bug. So don't, don't, don't really, uh, uh, j just ignore it. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, also, uh, be ready because this month, this month on, on July 12, if it's also a day I will stream, it will be written Malice 200. Because on July 12, last month, I had my birthday stream and, uh, uh, well, people get gifted literally 200 subs on that day. So if you if I stream during that day, it's going to show Malice 200. It's literally going to show Malice 200 here. Because, well, if, if the new subs, they don't continue to sub, then it, they're just erased from the channel and then... They don't work anymore, so uh, it is uh, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I recorded a video at 2 a.m. Uh, not not gonna lie, I was kind of dead because it was so okay. 2 a.m. was the only time where every everyone. The locomotive's crown sheet has failed. I have died in a boiler explosion. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Okay. That's uh. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I spent a lot that day. And thank you so much again, Ferox. A lot of kisses on all of you guys because you're hacking incredible beans. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be in a YouTube video with Style and other people. Uh, the only traumatic aspect of that video is that literally we stopped recording at 5 a.m. So uh, you see me already right now. I I I, I literally just um you know, tired all the time, and I, I, I'm just yawning, and I'm just a fox. Imagine me at 2 a.m., I had two or three coffees, and, and the, the recording went from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. So we were recording a video till 5 a.m. Literally, it was a broad daylight outside when we stopped, when I stopped recording for this video. So... <laughs> It was a little bit traumatic, not gonna lie, a little bit traumatic, but we like it. We like it. And it's gonna be an amazing video. And it's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna be in a friend's video. So I'm, um, 
I'm I'm kind of like really happy about it. I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys will like it. When it's released, don't worry, I will make an announcement on my Discord server and you guys will know. You will know directly uh the link and everything. Hello Tyberic. Keep said you good morning. Yeah, Keep was uh, sleeping because he was working uh, in the morning. Well, I ended up not going because uh, when I went to bed, he was like, what time is it? And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I go to bed fi at 5 a.m. And then we woke up at 8 because he needed to go to work. I was unalive, like literally unalive. But it's not the only time where I was unalive of the, the, the holidays. Not at all. You're going to see, guys, there is uh, way more stuff in coming uh, including showing my face because like a lot of the videos i just saw my face so uh like it is what it is uh <laughs> and so uh what happened is that i was dead and then we woke up and we're like okay keep uh, i'm dead i will not wake up so if you want to go to work just go to work and he ended up just not going he was like okay no <laughs> and this day this day on the friday we woke up and then we took the car and here we go the the camping holiday started this day or i mean they just started because basically we had to make a stop because so we wanted to go camp in the alps uh first uh for the first week it was uh, in france in the french alps with some family so it was like from Bonn, it's like 12 hours driving and I was not feeling like doing 12 hours driving in one day. So I, I was like, yeah, we need, we need somewhere to stay. Uh, and uh, shout out to my friend Arki, which is uh, literally a sweetheart that left. He was not here. He was not at his place, but he left the keys of his apartment. And we, we slept at his apartment for the night, only for the Friday night. So we could divide. Um, we could divide the trip in two. He was at the London Firmit, and uh, like I don't know how we managed to do it, but we managed to do it. And literally, it was. Thank you so much, Arky, again. I don't know if you're watching, but thank you so much. You saved the day, and you saved even more because, well, Arky uh, was uh, the guide uh, together with Velkas, another friend, um, uh, the guide of the expedition that we did. Uh, I mentioned it uh, multiple times in the stream, but. Part of the stuff that we were going to do this holiday was trying to go and sleep at the Cabana Margarita, which is uh, the highest refuge of Europe. So it's the highest refuge of, of Europe that you can sleep on. It's at 4,565 meters in elevation. So imagine uh, on top of a crazy mountain with uh, with like uh, eternal snow basically i mean on a glacier basically it's it's on a glacier 4565 uh meter uh, that that was the plan that that's what we needed to try to do and that's why with cape we decided to go camping uh in the alps before that so one week at 1000 uh 1400 meters to so just camping at that um, elevation so it was all right, you know, like the first week. Uh, I can show videos, I guess, because I think I have some uh, of uh, the first. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. It, it, is this going to work? Of course, it's working, but not. Uh, come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. So let me let me do it like this. Okay, I have to go on my computer to show the videos and to move the windows and stuff. So I'm just gonna seat. I'm gonna seat here. Oh, I guess like this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show uh, the stuff. So it's gonna be way better for everyone. So I mean, this is just this is just uh, some uh, water stuff. But uh, let me try to find if this is the valley. Okay, no, this is not the valley. Is this the valley? Oh yeah, there we go. I guess this is the valley, yeah. So that's that's the val the first valley where we were like hiking and stuff. As you can see, pretty high altitude. Uh, really lovely hikes and stuff like that. So it was it was really good. So this is <laughs> and that's me and my stick. It's literally me and my stick. Oh my god, where is the camera? Okay, here. Okay, let me just put myself on the side. There we go, like this. Perfect. So yeah, uh, pretty nice. That's like the first. Come on, that's like the first. Um, 
the first week as you can see like uh there is a lot of stuff I, there is a lot of video i took i took a shit ton of video there is a lot of wind in this one it's crazy yeah this is like 2000 something 2100 meters something like that oh my god and that lake was so silent Oh my gosh, it was crazy. So this is a lake I like. Uh, up, so the, the, the hike is to go to that lake. It is basically like 2,500 meters elevation. I'm sorry for everyone in the US that tries to guess uh, what it is because I don't know what it is. Like I have literally no idea uh, what is 2,500 in feet or something. I cannot tell you guys. <laughs> I am uh, sorry for that. But basically you do like a four hour hike up or three more more like three and then you have this lake that is like <laughs> one <laughs> what do you 1400 miles are you sure about that uv are you sure about that 1500 miles are you sure about that i am not sure about that no 2500 meters <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah you cannot go to 2500 kilometers there is no mountains that big in in her on earth uh uv yeah okay now usually it's in feet it's not in miles it's in feet you you, you do you do say elevation in feet i think in um in in, in the u.s yeah we speak with feet yeah yeah <laughs> hello henry what's up yeah eight thousand feet all right you guys get it so yeah as you can see here amazing views uh here you can see a little bit of snow and so try, try see guys how in this valley which is like in southern um, southern alps crazy i was crazy once they locked me in a room a rubber room a rubber room with rats and rats make me crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> such a bit of a high trip. I'm blown away. And this, so that's why I'm saying, look at the snow here. Because this is not, this is not the end. Like, you're going to be blown away even more uh, moist if you stay. Because, like, you think, you think this is crazy? This, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to uh, what's next. So, yeah. There, there was some, some snow. Little bit of snow. You know, like, this is 2,800 probably. A uh, little bit of snow, not that much snow, uh, but very calm. Very, very calm. Only know the French word, un neve. Yeah, it's exactly like that. It's called exactly like that, un neve. I hate that it's literally resizing every time. But look how, cal how calm that is. Like, you have just a little bit of wind. The the clouds, they are not moving. It's like, it was so calm, guys. I It, it was crazy. And I took some shots. I think this is a uh, slow motion. This is like 120 frame per second. But I mean, you cannot really see it because it's like video stuff. Um, so here we are. Then another video here, but that one is pretty bad. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. Time lapse. Look at that. Look at that. I did that myself. Literally. Oh my god. Why is it so bad? Look at look at this time lapse. Look at this time lapse. This was literally um <laughs> some trots what? I could literally sleep up there, super calm, any breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too warm. It's not too warm. Um well at the end I ended up sleeping way higher than that. But that that's that's for so this is the first week of camping in France. It was in the in the in in the French Alps. Everything was nice uh, the first few days. Like I, I mean, the whole week was nice, uh, except the last day. But I'm I'm gonna explain. So like you know, very chill uh, vibes. And then what is this? Like we even saw. Look at all the sheep. Look at all the sheep. There was big dogs here. Like those dogs here. I mean, you can you can probably not see them because like they were. They, it's it's pretty far away, but. Those dogs that are called uh, patu, uh, which are like guard dogs, uh, because there is wolves in this region, so uh, literally the the the, the sheep they have to be guarded by, yeah 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 they have to be guarded by by dogs yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
And those sheep, they are they were kind of big. And those those dogs, those guard dogs, they were the same size, if not even bigger. Hello, Andrew. And like, look at that. This is crazy. There was sheep everywhere, and then the valley was beautiful. So yeah, like, and and <laughs> at some point we were kind of scared because a dog kind of came close to the path. You saw we were going kind of down. We were, we were going a little bit down and and the dogs they kind of like uh went a little bit on us and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie it was a bit scary because those dogs they they don't care they they eat you they munch you they what no. da dog doing yeah they are no joke they they literally X -A -B, munch you. the word sheets does not does not what i will be scared too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was scared. You have any spray with you? No, 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 no spray. I mean, the thing is, with those kind of dogs, there is a little bit, of, there is like signs everywhere. The plural of sheep is sheep. Yeah, there is no sheeps. But I didn't say sheeps. I say sheep. Uh, did I say sheeps? I didn't say sheeps. Or if I did, I'm sorry. That's just me being a dumbass. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, a lot of sheep. Um, you did say sheep. Okay, my bad. This is my fault. I am sorry. I will not say it anymore. I'm just dumb. I'm a fox. And my brain is not working. Anyway, um, so yeah. And the dog was next to the path and it was really scary. Oh my god, Tituf, thank you for the raid. Welcome, guys. We're talking about my, my holidays. Because I just came back from holidays. That's why... I, I was not streaming for the past two weeks, but I am back, back from the holidays, and I'm telling the story of the holidays. And we just started, the guys. We just started, so sit back, sit back, relax, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna vibe here and tell the story. What the dog doing? Thank you so much, T2, again for the raid. Hello, everyone. Are you doing your ref sheet? Snap is a mod. Yes, he is. Wow. 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 Yeah, I hope you're doing good, uh, Titu. I hope you're doing good today. Um, yeah, they protect the herd. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hello, Riven. Hello, guys. Welcome. I have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't pay me anything. You didn't pay me anything to to get a uh, to get mod. No, I wanted to uh, to put uh, a snowflake as a mod for a while now. Okay, there we go. So that that's the dogs. And yeah, so uh, basically, if you just stay away from them, they just don't care. They they leave you alone. They leave you alone. Then I was another hike. And it was raining. So this is in Italy. Okay. This hike was in Italy in the Mamma Mia land. And it was really good. It was really a nice hike. It was raining. And look at that view. Look at the view. It was so nice. And this is kind of high up. This is like 2,200 something. After like a, a, a big, big, big hike. Like a, a few hours of hike up. And you can see there is like big mountains. Big mountains with, with the literal snow on top but not that much snow you know still to that day not that much snow. It's, it's still right now not that much snow and you can see how beautiful is the valley so this is italia uh, italy italia what the fuck am i saying this is italy um it was the little town of uh bo sunix are you in the stream still bo boli <laughs> i have to check i have to check on google maps I said it on and and uh Okay, let me check. So Nix, do you remember? Do you remember Sunix? Sunix here too. Sunix was here at the beginning, Gimbo. Okay, let me let me let me let me see. Let me see if I remember. Uh Bologna? No, it was not Bologna. Literally in the mountains. It's in the mountains. Uh, let me see. If I go back there, I will find it. It's near Turin. 
near oh Bardonecia. It's near near Bardonecia. I mean, when I say near, I literally mean it's it's Bardonecia. It was it was literally the city of Bardonecia there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Bardonecia, but it was the 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 city uh, that was down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouth, but here literally down there, uh, the city of Bardonecia. Um, and the fun stuff about this city is that there is, uh, he said ball. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so the thing about this city is that like, I opened my window and now they're going crazy. The windows are, are going crazy. Uh, but the thing about that city is there is a tunnel inside the city. It's called uh, the Tunnel of Fréjus. And that tunnel is a, a big tunnel that is going from France to Italy or from Italy to France. Uh, what happened to Menos? He hasn't streamed in quite a while. Menos sold his VR headset, so I don't think he will be streaming anytime soon. Okay, let me close my window. Let me close my window. Fucking hell. Why can't you just stay open like everyone else? You have to make a scene. Fucking window. Um, so I don't think he's going to stream again for a little while. We can still hope because honestly, uh, well, Menos' stream, they were kind of nice. They were, they were pretty nice. So yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, the little city of Arnecia with the, the tunnel, the tunnel of Fréjus. And <laughs> so fun stuff is that to go to the, the place where we were camping, we had two choice with Keep. It was either take that tunnel and save one hour, uh, one hour of driving time, uh, or do, do not take the tunnel, and, and then we had to take a side road, and it was like one more hour. But there is a catch. So the tunnel takes approximately 15 minutes to cross. It's like a huge tunnel. It's like you, t you take 15 minutes to cross it, and you, the, the speed limit inside is 70 kilometers an hour. So it's like a good let's say 15, 20 kilometers, because the, the tunnel literally has to cross the whole mountain, like literally, not even one mountain, I think it has to cross multiple mountains. But the thing is, that tunnel is to cross it. With a car, you need to pay 51 bucks. You need to, you need to pay 51 bucks to save one hour by taking this tunnel. It's the one way fee of the tunnel is 51 bucks bucks <laughs> okay let me let me show you guys where is that tunnel so you can see exactly uh i will go on google maps so you can see like that's that's really expensive yeah uh where is the yeah there we go so we are talking right now about here it's it's here so you see Turin here but well basically you just do this this and it, it was here uh the hike that we did that we did is literally like here, the, the video that I took is somewhere in here. And the tunnel is here. As you can see, this is the tunnel, like here. As you can see, it's a pretty big tunnel, right? Like, <laughs> Valsenis. I don't remember if that's what we did, but oh my God, it's raining inside my, my apartment, fuck. Okay, great. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, like this is a huge tunnel. As you can see, it starts from here. It starts from literally here. And it goes all the way to here. And yeah, and like I said, uh, it costs around uh, 50 bucks to, to cross the tunnel. Uh, but then once you cross the tunnel, basically, uh, I think the camping was somewhere around here. Uh, that was, that was uh, the camping uh, like the camping site that we did uh, somewhere around here, uh, and it was it was pretty nice. So this is kind of pretty high, you know. This is a high mountain. This is not a uh, um, not high mountain. But as you can see, also like here. So why we camped here is because here is a more natural uh, area of camping. Like as you can see, there is no ski stuff. Uh, Bardonecia, just here. Uh, so it says Bardonecia, but that's like the the French way to pronounce it. Um, it's like a big, uh, as you can see, a big ski station. So basically, people are just skiing there. And as you can see, like, they, 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 there is a ski station. And I don't think it looks as good. Sometimes I see boys, and I like being gay. <laughs> nice. 
I like it too. Um, and so, yeah, uh, there is a lot of ski stuff everywhere, which makes it, uh, in my opinion, uh, ev everything here uh, not that beautiful. But yeah, so that that's the big tunnel. As you can see, like they they did not tr they did not try to think about anything. They just did a straight line. Let me see if there is some kind of like. <laughs> wow! Look at this. Look at that! Wow! Wow! Were you tenting? Yeah, tenting all all the way tenting. <laughs> Look at that! That's the tunnel. Look at that! We are inside the tunnel. It's so crazy! They have literally a Google Street View inside the tunnel. Why can we do that? Why? Wait! Like why? So they literally paid. <laughs> they fucking. Paid. Traforo del Frejus. They literally paid. They paid. <laughs> That's what my mom said. Oh my god. Look at this. And then you just go in the tunnel forever. Traforo del Frejus. Look at this. <laughs> Hello, winter. And then you just go inside. I don't remember how big that tunnel is, but like you can see it's kind of big. But I didn't want it to go on top of it. I wanted to go like here. Oh yeah, so yeah, the, the tunnel is kind of like crossing. You see this kind of stuff. We are reviewing my... Um, if paying goes to maintain the tunnel, happily, happily pay. Yeah, but like 50 bucks for saving one hour. Uh, I think that's a lot. I do think that's a lot. Wow. So yeah, this is it, crossing this this mountain here, like in a straight line. You cannot see it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's literally crossing this tunnel. And so the, the video here, it was not the only video. Um, let me go to next video too. Oh shit. There you go. That's another one um, of a big mountain too. Like very huge mountain. And then we have, what was it? What was this one? Okay, oh my God, also. So on those mountains, uh, during Second World War, uh, the French, they kind of made some tunnels, uh, some bunkers uh, to spy on the Italian people, because as you might know, guys, the Italian people uh, during Second World War, they were not at the same side of uh, the French. So in those mountains, you can basically find stuff like this. Literally. You, you can find stuff like this. I, I, I took the video. Uh, we explored something like that. This is a bunker from the Second World War in the mountain during a hike. I, I'm just going to leave the video. Oh my god. Okay, if you distort the thing, you're not gonna see what it is. So I'm gonna wait a bit. There we go. Would you have done it, guys? Yeah, I, I took the video, Duke. I took the video. <laughs> they were inside the tunnel to scare us. Okay, I'm gonna lower the volume because I'm saying stuff. Hello, Vol, what's up? As you can see, this is very scary. That's very cool, except the real James Scares children's. <laughs> no, they were cool. They were nice children's. So as you can see, yeah, you have kids. I try. I try hard, but not breaking. For some reason, it's not breaking. So yeah, that that's the kind of stuff. This this was really 
No way, that would have freaking me out. Well, it kind of did, and I'm a bit claustrophobic, so you can imagine how I was feeling. But, you know, the exploring, the exploring is, is really nice, and, like, I was just eager to explore. I was just eager to explore. Like, this is such an amazing feeling, and you're like, oh my god, maybe no one has been here for a long time, and you're not gonna discover stuff. Turns out, no, like, a lot of people, they explore those, but, you know, like, nice feeling. Nice feeling. I mean, that cave has been here for 70 years, I expect to at least, to last at least the next 30 minutes, yeah. But my thing, my, my thought was like, imagine, imagine uh, in winter, because those mountains in winter, they are inaccessible by car, you know, like there is just a few meters, there is meters of snow everywhere, you cannot go there. Shabuba, hello! Oh, I'm happy to see you, how are you doing? Nice to see you here. Um, there, there's like meters of snow. So the entrance here and the exit, it's closed. It, it, is, it is literally closed. Literally closed. There was another one too, Kimbo. Uh, <laughs> if you want me to scare you even more. There was another one. And this other one didn't have any exit. It was one way. And it was going down for five minutes. And so it was a very narrow tunnel. Uh, so if you turned out your light, it was just literally black, like pitch black everywhere. And at the end of the tunnel, there was um, a path that was uh, not accessible anymore because of rocks, you know, like rock f fell from the ceiling. And it was written like 666, you find the demons, this kind of shit. And, and literally... After five minutes of walking tiny tunnels in a straight line, it was the coldest place ever. It was very silent, very dark, and it had like some very weird stuff written on the wall. And I was so scary. I loved it. I, I loved it. <laughs> I, I absolutely loved it. Sprite or Fanta? I would say Fanta. Fanta has some taste. Sprite is just sugar. Sprite is literally just sugar. But yeah, so I made it alive out of there. Then some, um, this is the city of Vardoneccia. You can see the entrance of the tunnel is just here. Um, pretty nice. Pretty nice sight. Sounds nice. Yeah, you would love it. <coughs> this is also... <coughs> this, this was a time lapse, but as you can see, nothing really happened. Here, so... Yeah, nothing happened in the time lapse. Then I took some fancy videos of other stuff. Look at those plants. There was some those kind of plants everywhere and like they are so funny. They are so funny plants. That would go in the spooky demon house with me tihi. <laughs> Low. No, no, no. I'm usually kind of scared of those kind of stuff, so it was because I was with Keep, you know, like <clears throat> being with Keep made me kind of like feel confident about doing this kind of stuff. All right, that's the peak too. Uh, you can see the bunkers. Like, this is the bunkers that I'm talking about. Oh my God, sorry for resizing all the time, but like the bunker, you can see the bunker here. Like this is literally 2,500 meters elevation. Modax, hello. 2,500 meters. And look at that, a, a bunker, like literally here, just, just sitting here, bunker. And you can explore those. And they are they are literally everywhere. This is the city of Bardoneccia. And you have some um, ski stuff here. And that's why I said that um, when it's like a skiing valley, it doesn't look as good because of those stuff. You see like how they had to remove all the trees and stuff for the skiing path. Uh, like this is not good. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. But as you can see, like still we're kind of high. But there is not that much snow. See, like, this is really high mountains. And there is not that much snow. But don't worry, guys. I got you. I got you, guys. So, yeah. Uh, we are still in the same valley. There's still uh, videos from the same valley. Uh, that's a video from the top of the bunker. And this was really scary because after this... Okay, if you're scared of heights... Maybe don't look. 
They maybe don't look, but uh, this is pretty steep here. It goes, it goes down pretty steeply, not gonna lie. Look at that. It was literally like super steep. And so pretty, oh my gosh. I love the mountains so much. Uh, is that a... Oh yeah, there we go. That was the view that you had. So you can see this is... This is like a... Um, a glacier. The glacier, the glacier of the uh, écran. The French, the French écran. Uh, and this is like 3,500 3, meters. And you have like a lot of snow glaciers and stuff like that. This was really far away. This was super far away, but that side, oh my gosh, that side is freaking amazing. Yeah. Okay, next video. We have, I don't know, am I, am I walking? What the fuck? Was it that's, oh yeah, there we go, it's really, okay, no, I think I did another one. Oh yeah, there we go. This one is way better. So, here, I think I'm going to show you another. This is another uh, bunker that I'm going to show you. Okay, no. No bunker, I guess. Oh, I wanted to do a time lapse here. I have a hat. Yes, I have a hat, but it didn't kind of work. Okay. And so this is the last video of uh, the first camping, the first camping week. The glacier beyond the ecran went up to refuse to see it. That's nice. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Um, uh, I, I love, I love it. I love all the mountains. And so this was the first week of camping. But then there was the big hike incoming for the weekend. So from uh, Saturday... From Saturday to Monday, there was a hike. And so the plan for this hike was, uh, let me check if I can find it again. I need to find, no, where is Zermatt? I don't remember where it is. I think it's next to Italy. Where is Italy? Oh, here we go, here. Uh, be, 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 be. I think it's around here. There you go, here. Oh, there we go, Zermatt. Here we go. So, the goal uh, was to go here, basically. So, as you can see, guys, there is a little bit difference. There is a little bit difference. Um... The um, the stuff that we were gonna uh, supposed to sleep at was let me see if I can find it. Uh, where is it? I don't know if I. Why can I? Why can't I find it? It's here, but I'm not sure. Where is it? I think it's down there. So basically this year is 4,500 meters in elevation. So a lot of elevation. And let me show you the videos on how, how the, stri the, the, the trip started because there is a lot of stuff to talk about on this trip. So I filmed a lot of stuff during this trip, but I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna keep it to a, uh, like, cause I literally vlogged everything. Um, we had to take a train, for example. Um, the, the, the area where we started was so remote that we had, oh, there we go, it's here. We had to take a train to cross mountains because it was the only way to cross the mountains. You had to go in a car, uh, with the car in the train, like this. Um, and I've seen that only in Switzerland. This is crazy. So like, you go with the car, on the train, as you can see right now, we are in the car, driving on the train. And you can see like apply handbrake, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to cross for like, it's, it's a 15 minutes ride. 
Look at that. Isn't it crazy? Like, there is all those people doing the same thing. And in, in the train. Literally in the train. Oh, I hate it. I hate that the, the VLC that is, like, always resizing the stuff. And that, that's how it is inside the tunnel, in the train. Like, this, it is basically this for 15 minutes. Oh, does food go there? Well, with the train, I guess. Thank you, Kimbo, for the sub. Really appreciate it, Kimbo. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. I, I saw a funny house, too. Look at this. There was a house in Zermatt, and it was written that. Horny. And I thought of all of you guys. I literally, I literally thought of all of you. I was like, this is... This is so much chat. This is this is exactly chat. <laughs> must be must be a German. <laughs> it, it, it was so Zermatt is in law uh, horny. And uh, so I was like, I need to take a, v a video of this because they are, they are never going to believe it. They are never going to believe me when I'm going to say I saw literally a house with written horny on the wall. Like literally, literally written horny on the wall. I don't know why they did this. Like, why, why would they write horny on the wall? I don't know, but they did. Turns out they did. <laughs> and it was so funny to see it. It was really funny to see it. Uh, and then, yeah, then you have, you have to take another train, uh, to go up again. And then the beginning of the hike, Rusty, thank you so much for the reset, Rusty. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it, Rusty. I hope you're doing amazing today. Uh, is that the beginning of the hike? Oh, no, that's the train. That's still the train. <laughs> that calligraphy got me there. <laughs> Sheesh! Oh my god. Keep there or skip? Yeah. Literally. Uh, where is the beginning of the hike? Oh, still, we're still going up. Still going up. See? See those mountains? See what I talked about? This is more snow. This is, this is like the most snow that we saw. Like, compared to the other videos. Choo Choo is an actual factual sassy boy express. No, the, the, so this train was like the most expensive train I took in my life, guys. So that train is going up for 20 minutes. And when I say it's going up, it is mental how up it is actually going. Because so we are in Switzerland. That train is literally climbing mountains. As you can see on the rails here, there is those little stuff on the track that makes it... So uh, it has adherence. Uh, it has uh, some, uh, uh, you know, uh, traction power, more more traction power. You can sell VLC from something tool preferences, something like resize and refine. Okay, okay. Let me let me try. This I guess. Sorry for. <laughs> no, okay. Tools, preferences, and something like... Why is everything in French? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, savior. My savior, Solix. Thank you so much, Solix. Thank you so much, Solix. You're, you're my savior. You're literally my savior. It's better in English, trans though, because I actually work and don't smell piss. Okay, no, okay. Let me let me talk about stuff. Let me talk about money right now. Uh, it's a yeah, okay. It was a forty-five degrees cl climb, like one hundred percent. Twenty minutes ride. Uh, the train went from one thousand one hundred meters to around two point five k. So you know, in elevation, it's like one kilometer elevation, basically. You know, like that's that's just the thing, like. 
That's the thing. Hello, Gay Robin. Bye bye. Gay bye bye. <laughs> oh my God, UV with 300 BDs. Thank you so much, UV. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, UV. So I was like, and for two tickets, it was like 120 uh, Swiss franc. 120 Swiss franc. So tell me, guys, if this is too expensive or not. <laughs> Type Barry! Thank you so much for the 100 BDs. Oh my gosh, this is the first high train of August, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, beans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What? What? UV with the 1,200 bits? Come on, Yumi, what? Ferox, what? Ferox with the 300 bitties? Oh my god. Do you guys like when I talk about the holy days? What the heck? Thank you so much, guys. You destroyed the high train already. Oh my gosh. It's already level 2. Oh gosh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, third, for the one bit. Really appreciate it, third. Thank you so much, guys. Oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, it goes up. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see if I something else. I think in this video, we can... Why is this not working? It was supposed to work. It's not working. It it doesn't really work. Okay, let me keep it like that. I guess if it works, I get. What the heck, Rusty? What? Excuse me, Rusty, with the two thousand four hundred bits. Hello, hello, Rusty. What? What the heck? That's a lot of bits, Rusty. Oh my god. <laughs> me trying to talk about my holidays. You guys spoiling me with your bits. Thank you so much, Rusty. Ah. Oh my gosh. You can see it's going up a lot. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Rusty. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. I'm bamboozled again. Uh... Here. Oh my god, okay. Beginning of the hike. Really important. Beginning of the hike. Take my bits to your face. I mean, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rusty. Really appreciate it, Rusty. You the best. You the best. Also, 96%. Oh my god. With the 500 beats again. Ah, thank you so much, Rusty. Uh, Wait, what? Who gave me money on coffee? Who gave me money on coffee? Oh my gosh. Who did it? Who did it? Who did the boop on coffee? I have to check now because it doesn't show. Or maybe it's Anonymous again. Anonymous. Oh my god, it was winter. Winter! Thank you so much, winter! Oh my gosh. What, for 20 euros? Wait, what? T winter, what? 20 euros? Get for that, 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 what? And Mercy with the 500 beats again? Ah, thank you so much, guys. Oh my god. Oh, UV, UV, how many bits do you have? I swear. 500 bits again? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so many bits. That's so many bits for this stream, guys. Oh my gosh. Me and Versi are stacked. You guys are fucking stacked with bits. It's crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. By, by the way, guys, uh, so a uh, little side note, but I added. Oh my god, and Versi and. Oh my god, the, the names today are not coming. Ferox, gifting three subs. Thank you so much for the three gifted subs. 
that's all I can give at the moment, but here you go. Thank you so much for the support, Winter. And thank you so much, for Rox, for the three gifted subs. And so, yeah, I wanted to say, uh, now, now on, on Coffee, you can use Stripe to... Uh, so there is not only um, PayPal. You, you can use Stripe if you want to uh, do donations, which I, I know some people, they don't use PayPal, they use Stripe. Um, I use I use Stripe too uh, now because like it's it's a bit better honestly like than PayPal you have less um, less fees and stuff so uh, you can use Stripe if you want the link for for donations if you guys want to donate to me you you can by using uh, the link in the chat in the description or uh, you can you can literally just type uh, exclamation mark tip in the chat like I'm doing it right now and I guess it's gonna show you yeah let's go. And thank you so much, UV, for gifting us up to Darwin and crossing the five, uh, the four, the level four. Oh my gosh. Ah, you guys are not ready for the story that I will tell just after the hype train. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit uh, for the hype train to finish before I continue my story. But just admire the view. Admire the view that I had when leaving the train and starting the hike. Uh, and the plan was to sleep at the Cabana Margarita, which is somewhere up there, basically. Somewhere up, up, up there. Look at this view. Isn't it freaking majestic to see this? Like, you go out of the train and, and, and you see this. Isn't it majestic? I was blown away. I was freaking blown away and you can see here monte rosa hütte which is the um, the first um stop so we were gonna sleep here for the night at the monte rosa hütte uh, that is a there was a four hours hike from here four hours see that see that that magic so this is a glacier you have another glacier here. There is another one here. This is the Diffuspitze. If you guys know a little bit of mountains uh, in the in the Switzerland and the, the Alps, uh, the Diffuspitze, which means the peak du Fou, because uh, Spitze is like the mount. Uh, so Diffuspitze um, is a very very famous mountain to climb uh, for for climbers because. Um, it's like technical, but not that long. And you can uh, climb uh, to 4,600 meters easy. No problem. Like literally no problem. Uh, so a lot of people, they, they do the Die uh, And a lot of people was, were asking when we were just hiking with the friendos. Oh yeah, you're going to do the Die No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But yeah, I will talk about the problems that... Uh, Personally, I mean, I had a lot of problems uh, during that hike due to a lot of stuff that is um, like uh, regarding the fact that we were in high altitude mountain because that's something you have to keep in mind. If you want to do stuff like that, you have to be prepared. You have to have a good cardio. You have to have a good overall um, form, like, you know, like sh physical form and stuff like that. You have to be literally ready for a lot of stuff nothing too bad happened well if i'm here right now nothing too bad happened but it was it was pretty bad <laughs> it was it was pretty bad okay i will be dead you definitely have to uh consider the fact that it's a very 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 long hike and very very um tiring because it's an altitude and we're gonna talk about it 94% cute today, Rusty. Look at it. Look at it. You're so cute. I come with my flip-flops. Oh, my God. Physically demanding. Bring an oxygen tank. Yeah, we are going to talk about this. That This is related to this. So all my problems, they were related to uh, oxygen. Because... I'm, I'm going to talk about... I'm just going to wait until the hydrant is finished. Unless someone... Unless someone literally crushes the level 4 right now. But, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for the massive high train, massive level for high train. Uh, 5,400 BDs uh, plus $20 from 
uh, winter and gift subs from Ferox. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. Thank you this is so, such a vibe. so much. High trains are a vibe. <laughs> I hope you like them, guys. <laughs> because this is such a vibe. <laughs> I'm ugly and gross. No, 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 you're not. I've so seen your face already. You're not gross and you're not ugly. You're cute. There we go. Look at the train. It's going to cross. And it's like one of the last time you see it because I'm going to replace it with something else soon. It's in the oven. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. We got all the provide pictures of the cuties. Thank you so much, guys. Let's go. Let's go. That's pretty low. Uh, you're not really sus today, Rusty. You're just extremely cute. You are extremely cute. A cutie. A literal cutie. So, yeah. Um, you start the height like this. And you walk just a little bit more. And you see this. And so, to give you guys some kind of like... I'm, I'm going to put it in big screens because it's going to be way better. Um, to give you guys some kind of like... Hint. Because you saw that we needed to do a four hours hike. And to tell you guys where we needed to go, it's really simple. We needed to go here. You see that little tiny piece of garbage just here? We needed to go here. And that, that's where we're going to sleep for the first night. Here. In the, in the mountain here? Here. It's called the Monte Rosa Hütte. Look at this. So, not going to lie, guys. When I arrived here, you have the sound of the glacier, you have the amazing view, the sights that are fucking amazing when you go next to a glacier. And I, I cried. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I had my little tear. I was looking at this. We were approaching the glacier like this, having this. It seems pretty small, but guys, there is like a drop of like 500 meters here. Like literally, you could not see a, a people, someone walking on the glacier from that distance. It's to, to give you guys uh, like a size on how big that is. And yeah, I cried. That, that was the, the, first, the first little tear that I had uh, of, the, of the trip. I cried. I cried. It was majestic and it's, it's so amazing to see stuff like that. You just have the nature and... And, and, and the silence and and this is just majestic and and the glacier is doing sound you know it, it's it's like it is alive you have that um, humming noise all the time and sometimes if you're very lucky you hear the glacier uh, break and you have some um, oh my god how is how is that called you you, you hear some cracks. And we had the occasion with Kip to hear cracks when we were on the glacier. And I can tell you, like, this is fucking scary first, but it, it is also amazingly cool. This is so cool. So, yeah, huge glacier. Uh, by the way, the hike to, of tomorrow that was planned was up there. The, the second uh, hütte where you're supposed to sleep is up there. So, yeah, some somewhere somewhere up there, you know, like... With the clouds, we could not see it, but it's somewhere up there. I'll let you guys appreciate the view. There we go. And so here, the hike. That That's keep, by the way. <laughs> Who did you go with again? We were five. There was my fiance keep. Uh, our guide, that was also uh, a furry and an amazing friend, Arky. The other guy that was also uh, a furry uh, and a cool friend, uh, a really nice guy, Valkar, and a friend, Tavi. So we were five. So the hike here to go to the Monte Rosa Hütte here uh, is basically you follow this path here. Then you go on this glacier like this. You cross here. That This thing here is still the glacier. You cross here. Then you cross here, then you go here, you go down, you cross on the side, you cross that big part here, like this, and then you go to the to the hütte. Uh, then yeah, like, 
This was literally... Um, did you hike in your first shoot? No, no, no. It was already... So this is like 3,000 meters of altitude already. So it's pretty hard to breathe. It is It is. It is kind of hard to breathe. Not going to lie. It, you have some, uh, some, some trouble breathing at that altitude. But yeah. Did you ever slide down the, sli the sides? No. Uh, there is something that... Uh, you need to take it. You know, it's, it's cool because I'm going to educate you guys on like what to do on a glacier, which is great. I didn't think I would do that. But basically on a glacier, um, you need to be roped together. Um, because if someone falls into a crevasse, um, what is a crevasse? A crevasse is like a hole in the ice in a glacier that could be anywhere from like a tiny little one. So like... You know, tiny little little one, to fucking like fifty meters, and and the, if you fall down there and you have no protection, nothing, you're dead. And you go in the water. It is ice. It is a glacier. That that it, it's like eternal snow, eternal ice. It is never gonna melt. I mean, you're not gonna be alive anymore when it's gonna be finished melting. You know, like. You're, you're just not going to be... The, 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 the glacier is still going to be way melting that you you will not be on this planet anymore. It's ice. So if you fall down, you're dead. You're basically dead. If you have no way, no, no, no one with you, no help, nothing, no one knows you're here, you're dead. Is it empty ice like a cave or filled with water? It is ice. Blue ice. The most pure ice you can think of. So yeah, you're gonna see because I took some videos of some crevasse. Oh yeah, that's the team. Oh my god. So that's Arky here. That's Keep. Then you have Velkar here and my friend Tavi. Look at the dream team. Literal, literal dream team. And then after this, we tackle the real stuff. Yeah, this is some crevasse. Look at the crevasse. You don't want to fall. There are a lot of videos. I took a shit ton of videos. There is like still, I could, uh, there was still like one hour, I think, of talking, or maybe like 30 minutes of talking. This is, this, so this was the first time that I ever was that close to a glacier. I don't know if you guys ever been in a glacier, on a glacier, but it's, it's such an incredible experience, a hacking incredible experience to be on a glacier. And then we just put, uh, so on a glacier, you have to have an ice pick. This is mandatory, by the way. Like, this is not an option. You have to have an ice pick in case you, you, uh, you slide. And you have to, ice, you have, to have crampons uh, that you put on your shoes. And that's on the glacier. Let me see if I can have some volume because it, it's funny here. Yeah, uh, that's how that's how I looked during the on the glacier. I was fucking dead already, but yeah, you, you can see, guys. Don't drop it. If yes, don't drop it into the. Ground, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so nice. So that's on the glacier. That's basically on the glacier. We were literally walking on the glacier right now. We just finished going up, and we were gonna cross. You know, like the dark part that uh, you guys saw when I show you when I showed you um, earlier. Hello, Cody. What's up? How are you doing today? Nice, nice to see you, Cody. Nice, nice to see you here. Um, I've already been on a glacier covered by the herd. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'm not an expert. So when do you have to be robbed up together? Uh, when you go up. This was flat, so no rope. You went on an adventure? Yeah. I've never seen your face before. And now it's done, I guess. Face reveal. I mean, this is not me, but... Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me show it again. Everyone, you cannot say that I didn't do a face reveal, even though I did it 20 times. There we go. You're gonna see my face in three, two, one. Smile. 
<laughs> that was my face. Look at this. J just look at it. This is like a 15 fucking meters ice wall. Literally. Literally 15 fucking meters ice wall. This, this was mental. My God. You were with the guide? No. Our friends were the guides because they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Look at that. that that's, that's the dream team here. That's, that's the team. Uh, you have Velkar, you have uh, Arki, uh, you have Tavi here, and you have Kip. The dream team, guys. I tell you. And the guides were Arki here and uh, Velkar. They are they were really experienced. Uh, and Arki already did it. I've been up on an ice field in the northern Canada. It's epic. Yes, it's fucking epic. And there was still like two hours, a good a good two two hours of hiking after this. Like literally, it was not the end of the hike at all. It was literally not the end of the hike. Like this was this was the middle. Let's say it like that, the middle of the hike. Some water. Glacier water. You guys want some glacier water? Look at that, this is so pretty. And you can see how blue everything is, like this is so pretty. And the, the water too, like, the water is so blue because of all the, the you know, the, the stuff that you have in the water. Water has been frozen for thousands of years, yeah. I hope you bottle some of it. No, I did not. <laughs> it's actually not good to drink it from what I've heard. Uh, okay, here. This is a slow motion video. That's why it looks weird, but yeah. And then we finally arrived. So that was like maybe 30 minutes before arriving to the first refuge. Uh, as you can see, like the we have said, like, the, 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 the clouds were coming, literally. As you can see, the clouds and the rain, because it was raining a little bit, that it was coming. Look at that. I took a time lapse. The clouds are coming. And let me see here. You have some clouds too. I really like the clouds. They were they were amazing. And then we arrived at the refuge. And we had a meal at the refuge at like 6 p.m. So I'm gonna show you guys. This this was the soup. It was it was a crazy good soup. It was it was a crazy, crazy, crazy good soup. This is at 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters elevation. So, so you guys know this is pretty high. This is this is incredibly high. This is like this is pretty high. Like everything here. Like okay, a bottle of water. I took a bottle of water for the sleep, and it costed me 10 euros. One liter of water, 10 euros, literally. And so they have to bring stuff up. Um, by helicopter here. They literally have to take the helicopter. The bottle of water was 10 euros, yeah. 10 euros for one liter of water. Because they don't have running water. I mean, they don't have uh, drinkable water, let's say like that. You, they have running water. You can take a shower, but you cannot you cannot drink it. It's not, it's not drinkable water because it's not purified and stuff. I mean, technically, you're supposed to kind of like drink it be able to drink it when you're super high uh, i mean super high up in in, in the you no know, elevation not high in your head because well <laughs> it's not the same high um uh but yeah they, they were not they were not working super not high in your head yet <laughs> But the beer, also like they all, 
No, the soup was included in the night stay. Uh, one night stay was like 90 euros per person with the food. Um, like around 90 euros. It's just if you wanted drinks. The beer was like 10 euros too. Like it was... It was also Switzerland prices. You have to, you have, you don't have to forget that is that we were in the Switzerland, so in Switzerland, so Switzerland price. Zav, you actually look better than I thought you would. All right. Uh, no, I'm not a stinky. Give me one second. Because you saw me looking weird because I was. Literally, uh, I was literally in a climbing, in climbing equip equipment. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, that, that's my first suit. Uh, that's me. I literally look like that. Is that a compliment or an insult? That's why I, I am. I, I I I don't know what, how to react to this. Like, is it a compliment or is it an insult? Like, that's my pursuit. That's my face. That's my pursuit. That's my face. <laughs> compliment, or of course you look fabulous. A compliment i love that you got the same pose yeah that was that was the the goal it was literally the goal of the of the picture when you we took the photo shoot i mean it's not really the same pose but you kind of you kind of see you know like you get you kind of see the, the same thing you raise basically the same length of mind yeah i do believe so look at that cute boyo no you're talking about you right winter my first shoot looks cute though my first shoot Really cute. But my face, not cute. The drip is amazing. What are you talking about? What drip are you talking about? Like, this is, <laughs> this is literally just hiking drip. You know, big shoes, big jeans, uh, a, a hat, the shirt. I have the band and shoes. This is some hiking shoes. This is like some really, really like. Not talking about you. Oh, shush. Shush. Um, this is some really, really uh, big hiking shoes. This is nothing to. You know, this is on Twitter. This is not even something private. This is on Twitter. Okay. Enough talking about this. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I can go back in VR because I don't have any more videos. Um, and now I'm going to explain what happened. Because I think it is important that I, I go back in VR to explain what happened. And so I can get you guys uh, uh, some, ca some kind of explanation on what happened. Because it's really important. So we slept there. Um, this was called the Monte Rosa, Monte Rosa hut. So uh, it's called a refuge or a hut in German, I guess. So basically it is a um, place in high, in high mountains. So like in the mountains, uh, where you can stay, you can stay for a night and you can eat, you can take some water, you can basically refuel before uh, doing another, uh, either going down or doing another day going up again. And this it was like at 3,000 meters. So I have to explain that we arrived at the, uh, the refuge at around 4 p.m. Around 4 p.m., we chilled until 5. We got our room. We got a shower. We, 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 we showered because we were literally... I was at my physical limit, and I'm not lying. When we arrived at the, at the first hut, after around 5 hours of walking... Uh, Five hours of walking and also like a good amount of it on a glacier, literally uh, doing glacier stuff, just walking on the glacier. Uh, I felt like already when arriving to that glacier that I was at my um, physical limit of stuff that I can endure. I was not at 100%, but I was maybe at 95%. To give you an example, guys, when I arrived at the refuge, literally for uh, 30 minutes... 
I was having um, my, how do you call that in English when you feel like electricity in your hand, you know, like uh, in, in my shoulders and my hands and my legs. And I, I just, just, you know, generally just super sore, you know, like, and I felt like I, I, I told myself, I was like, damn, Zav, like static. I'm not sure it's called static. I was like, damn, Zav, like this is the first day. Pins and needles, yeah. No, no, not static energy. No, in in your in your hands, you know, like in in your nerves, basically. Um, and and I was like, Zav, this is the first day, and you're already feeling like that. But I was confident, you know, um, highly motivated, uh, thrilled that we arrived here. It was gonna be my first night in a refuge because I never done that before. So first night sleeping that high, um, tingle. Yeah, exactly, Ferox. How do you say that in English? Um, uh, like, super excited to sleep that high and feel good the next day and just be vibing and, and climb up there. We still had 1,500 meters of um, incline to do the next day. And so the plan was... Pins and needles? Yeah, probably is is how it's called. I don't know. The plan was <clears throat> basically to um, go there. The dinner was at, like, 6.30 eat quickly at 7 go to bed 7 p.m and then sleep until 2 a.m and then wake up at 2 a.m 2 a.m take uh, the breakfast and climb so we can arrive at the Capata margarita at around like 3 like 3 p.m something something like that so then at 3 p.m when we're up there we can just chill wait for dinner take dinner sleep early Wake up early again and do the whole route down the next day. Uh, but what happened basically is that eight, no problem. Um, I was feeling amazing because you know how thrilled I was to go up. And like honestly, everyone was super thrilled to go up. Uh, Kip was like Kip literally. It was literally Kip's dream to go up uh, that mountain. And like we were just we were just super excited. We were, we were literally excited to go up. So we ate. We went to bed. And here the first problem. I think during that night I didn't slept at all, uh, or probably like thirty minutes. The thing is with the elevation, guys, is that at three thousand meters elevation, uh, there is already seventy-five percent, seventy-five percent of uh, oxygen in the air. So your body has to work on seventy-five percent oxygen. Some people, they don't feel it. So for some people, it's all right. For some people, they don't feel it. For some people, they feel it. And I started feeling it after I woke up from like the one hour, one hour, 30 minutes of sleep that I got. Um, I had the biggest headache that I got ever. I had the biggest headache. Uh, and I was feeling like shit. But, you know, I thought, yeah, maybe this is just I need to drink. So I had some water. I had some water and I started sleeping, you know, and I was just, you know, turning around. Um, I noticed that my heart rate was so high. My my heart rate was literally like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I, and I was literally resting. I was resting in the bed, trying to sleep. And I was just breathing, you know, like you breathe, but you can, just cannot breathe. Like <sighs> also in my head. So I don't know if it's just due to elevation or not, but I think I read it somewhere. It's like, I was trying to close my eyes and, and to, to sleep, basically. And when having my eyes closed and the room was perfectly silent, I was hearing kind of like explosions, like a really loud explosions. And like three times I got waken up by an explosion sound, but it, it was coming from inside my head, you know, like, and, and my ears, they could hear it. But it was, it was a fake sound, you know, it was inside my head. And I didn't know where it was coming from. And I got, like, kind of woken up, like, not woken up because I was not sleeping, but I, I was spooked and I had to open my eyes because I was woken up by this. Like, literally, I don't know what the heck is this, but a literal explosion sound. Literally, like, felt like something was exploding, you know, like, and, and, and I was waking up. Yeah, probably. I don't know, Ranto. I don't know. And so then, do you have migraine? Yeah, of course. Like the biggest headache ever. Biggest headache ever. And so when my alarm, when the alarm of everyone went off at one a at 1.45 a.m., it's simple. I opened my eyes. I stood up. 
and I was the most unalive dude ever. It happened with people who have migraine, no explosive head syndrome. Oh my god. Okay, so it was this then. Explosive head syndrome. Sheesh. <laughs> that was kind of scary. And I, I, I was literally unalive. Headache. I, I felt like I had a fever, like a really high fever. I was panting. I tried to eat breakfast, but like no food was going in my mouth. Like literally, like I, I was to the point where I, I was... I, I was looking at the stuff that I had in my plate and I was crying because I was trying to eat it and it would not go inside my mouth. I was literally kind of crying because I was like, damn, that's not normal. And what's happening? And I was super tired and, and stuff like that. And sadly, um, it was a really, really hard decision to make because I was, I was thrilled to go up. Honestly, like I was still super thrilled to go up. I really, really wanted to do it uh, for me, for Kip, for everyone that was here, and also because it's a hacking crazy experience. Imagine if I if I went back to you guys and I would have told you, yeah, I did it, no problem. Sadly, um, we had to be reasonable, and I had to um, call it out at that point. So at three thousand meters, because of a heavy altitude sickness, and also the fact that it, you know, it, it's too much. Uh, it's too dangerous to go up when you feel like that already at 3,000 meters. Because no one, no one could have known what would have happened for me at least at 4,500. Like, this is, just to tell you guys, 4,500 is 55% oxygen. 55%. 3,000 is 75%. Uh, 4,500 is around 55-60%. So I can not only imagine what would have happened if I had gone up there but we uh, thankfully we know because uh, our friend they made it uh, sadly keep an eye we had to go down i i i I'm, i felt so bad of dragging keep down i was crying so much i was i was crying so much everyone was trying to cheer me up they were like it's okay you know it, it takes a lot of courage to to just give up you know because in the in the end like it, it's it's way harder to just say no i stop because I, I, I wanted to try. I literally wanted to go up, but I, I could not. My, my body was not following what I wanted to do in my head. And I cried so much. I also cried a lot because it was Kip's dream to go up there. Um, and, and I had to drag him with me down because, well, I could not stay alone in the refuge. And I, I could not just go down alone. And someone had to go with me. And, and well, Kip was like, yeah, I'm not letting you down. And, and we cried so much. We, we cried so much. And I felt so bad. I felt so bad of um, having to uh, let Kip go with me, if it makes sense. Because he really, really, really wanted to do it. And it's all my fault because I was not trained properly. My, car my cardio was not good enough. And I do believe that it's only something to do with the cardio. Um... Because I, I was already struggling when going up at 3,000. And yeah, so sadly, we had to go back in the room, sleep a little bit more, wake up at 4 a.m. 5 a.m. went down uh, and slept in the city. But I tell you, this is like a very, very, very hard feeling when you are up there and it's so close. It's so close. You've never been so close to that goal in your life and you have to call it out because of that stupid stuff. But yeah. Uh, in another note, like uh, they, the friends, so the three friends that went up, Arki, Tavi, and Velkar, they told us that it was like the highest thing they did because at some point there was literally a wall, a wall of ice, and the only way to go up there was to climb the wall of ice. And like I told you guys, at 4,000 meters, you only have around 60% oxygen. So literally they were doing two steps and, and a break, two minute break, two steps, Two minute break, two steps, two minute break. Because that's the only thing you can do up there. There is no, not enough oxygen for you to just keep going and keep going. If you're heavily trained, yes. But if, if, you, if you're not trained, no. And also the fact that up there it had snowed. And so they were robbed together. And my friend Tavi, that was at the, at the front, um, he was walking. And then in front of him, one foot in a crevasse, in a 20 meters deep crevasse. Because the snow had hidden it. And so he literally fell down a crevasse. And that, that's the risk. That's literally the risk. Hello, Rodol. Nice to see you. Okay, no problem. No problem. 
So yeah, that's literally the risk. And so they told us that when they arrived up there, first they had the worst night ever in their life. Like sleeping at 4,500 meters is painful. Apparently it is really, really painful because, well, you know, when you rest, when you sleep, your heart rate goes down a little bit and you start to relax and then you close your eyes and then you sleep. 4,500 meters, your heart is uh, do, 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 all the time because there was 60% oxygen and you literally need to, to, to be like that to give oxygen to all your, your muscles and stuff like that. And also a Velkar, uh, from my friend Velkar, he had the even more bad day because he, had, he was puking, headache, uh, not eating and stuff like that. And apparently I talked about the traumatic toilets in the Netherlands. But apparently, from what I heard, the toilets at 4,500 4, meters, they are even more traumatic than the toilets in the Netherlands. They are even more traumatic, guys. Like, I, literally, apparently, it was a hole in the mountain. A hole. And you had to squat up, in, in the, and, 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 and it was written on the wall, aim for the hole. And they had, like, a, like a, a shovel in case you were missing the hole. Like, the toilets... The toilets, traumatic, traumatic toilets. I, I had to time to see when I was still in school to move that stuff for me as well because really nothing my mom started to make sense self like explosion inside. Well, for me, it stopped when I went down, but yeah, the difference is the altitude. Yeah, the difference is the altitude. <laughs> they have the same toilets. Imagine, guys, you, the Netherlands literally have the same toilets as uh, five, four, four, 400, 5,000 meters, literally. It's the same toilets. The Netherlands is comparable to this. Can you believe it, guys? Can you believe it? Kaiser, thank you so much for the resub. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So yeah, then we went down and stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, crazy story, and, and they saw the most skinny guy up there. Like, literally, he was... He said, like, he told my friend, like, oh, yeah, they were talking, you know, because when you're in the refuge, you talk with everyone. And that's what we did at the first one. We were chatting with the people and stuff. And because a lot of people, they have a cool, cool stories. And they saw that that guy up there that was literally the most skinny guy. And I asked him, like, yeah, where are you from? Where are you living? And the dude say, uh, vagabond, because he was uh, uh, Italian. And it literally, the guy said that he's living in the mountain. And he's sleeping refuge to refuge, refuge to refuge. And he's not leaving the mountain ever. He's living in the mountain, living at 4,000. And apparently that dude, that dude was like super easy going, like in the mountain, he was just like not even breathing heavily or anything, just vibing, literally just vibing. Because that's something you need to know, like in the mountain, um, yes, it's hard. But it's not hard forever. Uh, there is something called acclimatization. Um, and you can get acclimated at uh, around every height. Because you know some people in Tibet and stuff like that, they live at minimum 4,000. Like their cities are at 4,000 meters. And there is only 60% six, oxygen at 4,000 meters. And they, 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 they still live here. Because the body can, um, uh, can, you, you can acclimate. You can acclimate. Yeah, you just acclimate. And so... Hello, Fox Kid. I miss you too. Sammy, hello. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. Uh, and yeah, so the body just acclimated at some point, and uh, it is it is what it is. It is it is what it is. I have that shirt. Oh my god, I saw the shirt, Kaiser. It looks amazing. You're so cute with it. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love you so much, Kaiser. Mwah. Yeah, guys, if you receive the shirt, god, I'm wearing it too. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, it, it so many incredible stories. I'm still super sad. Still super hacking sad that uh we could not make it up there with keep like super hacking sad. But it is what it is and I guess uh I will do it again. I got fucked by the mountain this time, but next time I'm gonna fuck the mountain. This is this is what I'm telling myself. Next time, mountain, it's you and me 1v1, and you're not gonna win. I will win, because I will be hacking ready. I will be hacking ready. 
that sounded yeah yeah don't talk about it it's okay it's okay so yeah i hope you guys like the story uh because um uh it, it was incredible incredible stuff um <clears throat> the dog hello uh so today is it, it was gonna be a, a pretty short stream because uh I, I basically wanted to tell the story uh the next stream is gonna be friday uh for uh friday fox show uh so i'm gonna see you on friday and on sunday because i will stream sunday evening too and yeah this stream will be on youtube uh edited or not at some point uh just to like sum up all the the story of stuff like that so um yeah short stream well it's been two hours so it's not really a short stream but yeah i hope you guys liked the stories um i'm gonna also edit the little videos that i showed you during this stream um into a bigger video uh, that literally has music and stuff just to sum up um everything that happened this this summer uh i mean this holidays and yeah I hope you guys had a nice time with me. I'm super happy um, to see you again, guys. And yeah, um, streaming again, normal schedule, which means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with some little extras. Uh, if you go on my Discord server, you can see uh, <laughs> when exactly I'm live. But Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this time. Uh, like we did right now usually for a bit longer but tonight i cannot stay because literally have to do groceries and stuff and you know just life so yeah take care guys um miss you a lot and i hope to see you again on friday for the friday fox show and it's probably gonna be if it's not with keep i don't know who it's gonna be with but it's gonna be someone on friday so be ready guys for the friday fox show and that's exactly why i am in the friday fox show world right now because i wanted to tease that a little bit but yeah friday fox show on friday see you there guys love you all stay safe thank you so much for listening to me today and see you on friday bye Mwah. and also we're gonna raid someone so if you stay you share the fun and we raid someone. <laughs> Take care, cuties.